update on Major Hurricane Christina, which has intensified rapidly in the past few hours to achieve winds of 145 miles per hour and a pressure of 940 millibars, a Category 4 hurricane. Its position is 16.4 degrees north, 106.8 degrees west, and the storm's expected to move towards the west-northwest of the next few days. We will probably won't see too much more intensification, though it could still be a possibility before we see weakening occurring in the long run, um, and the storm by day 5 will weaken into a tropical depression or perhaps even dissipate completely by then. Um, generally the track is pretty straightforward really towards the uh, west-northwest or perhaps a little bit more towards the northwest. Uh, not too likely to affect any land areas at the moment apart from the coast of Mexico right now um, which the outer bands of the storm are just offshore so maybe a little bit of stray rainfall here and there uh, making landfall there. Uh, that's why heavy rain advisories are in effect for those provinces along the coastline there, Colima, Jalisco and Nayarit in particular under heavy rain advisories. Uh, but the storm's expected to pull away from there in the next few hours, so there shouldn't be too much cause for concern. Sea surface temperatures remaining warm at least for the first few days, 28 to 30 degrees Celsius at the moment, but by, by day 3 and 4 it will probably fall below the 26 degree threshold as it moves towards the west-northwest, and that will be um, unconducive then for any further development. So of course uh, Christina is marked by the hurricane icon, um, this is the shear map, the dark blues indicating low amounts of shear so it is in a low environment um, and the area around it is fairly low as it moves towards the west northwest. Uh, by day 3 to 5 if things remain the same uh, it will begin to rise and could possibly become a threat to the storm's uh, life I suppose. Um, so that's the situation with that. The um, Water vapour imagery, lots of dry air out at sea, but in the immediate vicinity of the storm, it's not looking too bad, a fairly moist environment, and all points east, uh, moist around there, but dry air out to sea, which could interfere as the storm begins to weaken in the next 24 hours, and beyond, of course. So let's take a look at the model runs then. Um, the intensity, obviously these are a few hours old, so they're not caught up with the storm. It's up to 125 knots now, so this is a little bit out of date. But if it does call for a little bit more intensification, it isn't... Um completely impossible that we might see a category 5 storm out of this. Uh, the track forecasts are still fairly relevant. Um, generally towards the northwest, uh, the west northwest, the green line has fallen in line with the other two. Uh, it was a little bit further out but has now seemed to um, fall in line with the other track forecasts for now. Shear comparison as you can see here uh, expected to rise gradually by day 4 and 5 it will become moderate to high and sea surface temperatures as I detailed earlier likely to fall uh, by day 3 to 5 we'll be seeing sea surface temperatures falling below 26 degrees which of course is the threshold for cyclone development and relative humidity is on a general trend downwards as well um, starting tomorrow I suppose uh, falling below 50% and could possibly contribute to the downfall of Christina. So the latest satellite imagery showing the past few hours, um, you can see how the storm has intensified quite rapidly in the past few hours. Those latest frames showed it off very well, the first visible ones that came out just before. This is the infrared imagery, an eye expanding by the looks of things and becoming more defined, I suppose. Uh, the central core of the storm, you see those blues coming in now, so um, certainly intensifying still, and it doesn't appear to be weakening just yet, so we'll see how strong this storm gets. Um, certainly Category 5 is possible, not a given at all. 145 mile per hour Cat 4, uh, we may even see it peak just like Amanda did at 155 miles per hour. That would be um, a um, interesting coincidence, wouldn't it? But that's the current situation with Christina. Elsewhere in the world tropics, we have Cyclone Nanark in the Arabian Sea and in the Western Pacific, two systems, Invest 95W in the South China Sea and what's left of a tropical storm Mitag, which was a short-lived system, moving past Japan right now as an extra tropical cyclone. 30 storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide, north and southern hemispheres, um, 12 of which have become Category 1 hurricane equivalent, 74 miles per hour or higher. Christina was the 12th, and Christina was the 7th to reach Category 3 intensity of 115 miles per hour or higher. So far, I think we've seen two Category 5 storms. Maybe this could be the third. Um, we'll see. Uh, you can stay up to date on the website, and indeed any other of the Force 13's six outlets 
Force13.com is the main page for the website where you can see all the updates and uh, other things besides storm tracking on there too. Don't forget the video sharing sites, YouTube and Dailymotion, just search Force13 to find Force13's videos, of course, and the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force13 on those, at Force13 on Twitter. Um, and if you'd like to converse with me personally, you can do so on Skype at Fool13 for Tropical Weather Chat. More on this in tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin if it goes out, otherwise it will be tomorrow.